Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be in Kerala and Tamil Nadu today. Prime Minister will be in Tiruvananthapuram, the third visit to the state of Kerala in just two months. Prime Minister will visit Vikram Sarabhai Space Centre in Tiruvananthapuram and will inaugurate three important space infrastructural projects worth about Rs. 1800 crore and will review the progress of Gaganyan, India's human space flight mission. Later in Tamil Nadu, Prime Minister Modi will be addressing a public rally in Tripur district. This will also be the party's first campaign ahead of the 2020. For Lok Sabha polls. Now, Prime Minister will be participating in the culmination of six month long Yatra undertaken by K. Anamalai to reach out to the Tamil voters on the 10 year achievements of the Modi government. We have CNN News 18's Neetu and Purnima Murli joining us on the broadcast. Neetu and Purnima, very good morning to both of you. Neetu, first coming to you, what are the preparations there on the ground as far as Prime Minister Modi's arrival is concerned? See, we are outside at the entrance of the central stadium in Tiruvananthapuram where Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be addressing uh, the crowd here at around 12 o'clock. This is the concluding session of the uh, BJP's uh, Padayatra led by State President K. Surendran. So from morning here we can see that BJP workers have been queuing up. Uh, the program is only at 12 o'clock here but they have been queuing up uh, to listen to the Prime Minister. There has also been big screens that has been put up around the stadium so that even people outside uh, can listen to the Prime Minister. Now, this is the third time the Prime Minister is coming to the state of Kerala since New Year, since uh, 2024 January. The first two times it was in Trishur as well as in Ernakulam districts, uh, concentrating on the Trishur constituency mainly, which is one of the constituencies where BJP has high hopes and most likely uh, for a former MP and actor Suresh Gobi is the candidate there. Both times when uh, Prime Minister visited at the road show. Suresh Gobi was also with the Prime Minister at that uh, uh, when he was taking uh, that road show and also uh, uh, he came uh, to Guruvayu temple for the wedding of Suresh Gobi's daughter. Now this is the first time coming to Tiruvananthapuram, the capital city and also uh, which holds the Tiruvananthapuram constituency. The sitting MP is Dr. Shashita Roo. So this is again one of the constituencies where the BJP has very high votes. Last time the BJP came second with a margin of about 15,000 votes. So that is what the BJP is aiming. This is again a high profile constituency. There has been talk, several uh, names have uh, come out from this constituency, including that of uh, MOS Rajiv Chandrasekhar is one of the names that is being uh, uh, considered for this constituency. So uh, Prime Minister twice uh, coming, this is the third time he's coming in the first two months itself ahead of elections. So that is something which the BJP is also hoping on that uh, 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 the Prime Minister's visit like this will rejuvenate the cadre, will uh, give them high hopes and also create a huge push among the people. Uh, at first, once the Prime Minister lands, he'll be directly going to the Vikram Sarabhai Space Centre. About 1,800 crore worth, three projects uh, will be inaugurated from the VSSC Centre and uh, he will also be reviewing the progress of the Gaganyan and the uh, astronauts' names will also be officially announced by the Prime Minister. From here, he will be headed to Tamil Nadu after this program here. Right, Neetu, please stay with us. Uh, Purnima continues to stay with us on the broadcast as well. Purnima, now coming uh, coming to you and talking about Prime Minister Modi's schedule in Tamil Nadu. This is going to be the first rally for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. How crucial this one is going to be and also considering the six-month long yatra uh, since the culmination, K. Anamalai being there, of course. Absolutely. Today is the culmination of uh, BJP State President Anna Malay's Yen Man Yen Makal, my, uh, uh, my Land, My Soil. Uh, that's the Yatra that uh, Anna Malay undertook for six months. Today, it's marking the end of the Yatra and to participate in the culmination program, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be here in Tirupur. You can see grand preparations on. Uh, there's a huge uh, uh, venue. This is a huge venue here can accommodate at least a lakh uh, and you can see uh, music being played. Uh, people now queuing up uh, the program is only at 12 for uh, at 2:45 uh, but uh, people have already started 
queuing up they are playing music and uh, people here the bjp cadre all set to welcome prime minister of course this is going to be a significant uh, step considering that the tamil nadu uh, bjp unit is trying to make inroads uh, this time around uh, for the first time they've also uh, they they are also planning to contest with smaller allies in the state after the aia dmk stage to walk out so bjp and a few smaller uh, party leaders will also be participating in the program however 4th march prime minister is likely to visit chennai again which is when all its alliance partners and currently remember talks are going on with the dmdk and pmk these are smaller parties uh, but uh, uh, talks are still going on discussions run away so all the uh, the grand alliance by the bjp in the absence of ai dmk will be done in the first week of march march 4th likely is when prime minister will come and have a grand alliance meeting but this uh, public meeting here in tirupur district will be significant because it will also be the first time that the party is planning to kick start its election campaign so all eyes on prime minister's speech and his message for the ruling dmk and uh, the congress as well of course purnima anito thank you so much for bringing us